guys! So today I'm going to be showing you how I do Kiana McLaughlin's long program look from Nationals, this year's Nationals, 2010 Nationals. Um, I think it's a really cute look. I like the colors a lot because they go well with my skin tone and since I'm a ghost, it's not always easy for me to find colors like that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching this. First, I'm going to take my brown eyeliner. I'm using Beauty Control's Espresso. Espresso? Yeah, that's how you say it. Um, and I'm going to tight line my eye. So just kind of take it, don't really pull, just kind of push back on it. And line underneath here. Whoa, oh, okay, now the worst part. So I'm using Shadow Control Cream which is also by Beauty Control. Um, and just apply it all over your lid, all the way up to your, uh, what are those things called? Eyebrows, yeah. <laughs> well, let's see, next, going to be using Maybelline's uh, Bronze Glitz um, Trio. I'm going to start with the brow bone color and Put it right here. And then also put it just in the corner right here to brighten up your eye a little. And then I use the same brush for everything because I only have this one brush. Take the lid color and go onto your lid. so hot outside today. I can't even believe how hot it is. Like, it's crazy hot. I'm so glad I don't have to work today. Ugh. That would be awful. Oh, because I work outside. <laughs> it wouldn't be awful if I worked inside somewhere. I just realized you guys might not know that I worked outside, so yeah. That's why it would be so awful. But I don't have to work today, so I get to just stay inside all day if I want to. Then go in with the crease color and put it on your crease. And I always, always, I always just uh, follow the natural, like, indentation of where like my eye hollow goes into for my crease except on this eye I don't because I have to put it up a little bit higher like on my brow bone because it's crazy weird this eye is like hugely smaller than this eye is bugs me to death so yeah just to share that with you guys and then put it on uh, this little outer V here. Wipe your brush off. And now just kind of try and blend it a little. Like I wouldn't blend it upward. I would try and blend it back into your like I just because she doesn't have you know makeup all the way up to her well I mean she has it all the way up there but she doesn't have this color all the way up to her eyebrow man my stomach just growled I'm so hungry so I've never really like tried coffee before like I mean I've had like white chocolate mochas and stuff like that from Starbucks, but my friend says that that's not real coffee and stuff, and so I have a coffee maker already. I don't know why, because I don't really drink coffee. Oh, take the brow bone color and just kind of go over it to blend it a little bit more, just to make the 
line just kind of all come so you don't really have a line up there. That's what I'm trying to say. Wipe your brush off. Oh yeah, but anyway, my story. Um, my friend, he says, you know, like, he's obsessed with coffee. And I was like, oh, I've never really tried it and stuff. But I have a coffee maker, so I went and I bought some coffee. And I've been, like, trying to see if I actually like coffee. And I bought two kinds. One was from Starbucks, and it was Cafe Verona. And the other one was from... Millstone, and it's called Caramel Truffle. And, to be honest, trying the Cafe Verona one, I was like, coffee all tastes the same. Like, <laughs> tastes exactly the same. But the Caramel Truffle one does taste a little bit different. Um, I don't know, it's weird. So, I've had like, three cups of coffee already today, like, trying to figure out if I like this stuff or not. Um, so I'm actually kind of surprised that I'm hungry. That was why I told that story. I don't know. It was kind of random. Whatever. Um, let's see. Now take the, your brown eyeliner again, and go on your lash line here and line your eye. Um, just kind of go up here a little bit and draw a line out. I hope that's even. Um, and then I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the harsh, just line, so... I'm going to go back in with my lid color and just kind of go like that. Like, just get it on the very end of your brush. Just get some product and then just kind of pat it onto your eye right there. I don't go all the way out because you kind of want the definition out there, like more of the line out there, but I just kind of pat it on to where the lid color is supposed to be. So it's still a line, but. It's just a little bit more of a faded line. Um, next, next, uh, I'm going to take my brown eyeliner again and line my eye right here. Um, so I'm using Beauty Control Spectaculash. Spectaculash. That's how you say it. And it's in black brown, which is more of a brown, but it has like hints of black in it, I guess. But I absolutely love the wand or the brush, however you say it, but I love that. It's so, I don't know, it's just so full and I, I love it. Um, this is one of my favorite mascaras, but I always do that. I went ahead and got it out, so just set that down for a second and curl your lashes. Okay. Time for the mascara. Now do the bottom lashes. Ooh, sideways. Dang, my stomach growled again. I need to get some food. Okay, so I think the eyes are done. They look even to you? They kind of look even to me. I can't tell. Even enough. And so this is my version, um, as close that I could get it, uh, to Kiana McLaughlin's makeup look from her long program this year at Nationals. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and Hopefully you'll be able to recreate it, recreate it yourself. Um, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye.